What's up fellow YouTube artists and aspiring artists, Mike here with Aerosol Custom Spray Paint Art. No painting today, but I'm just gonna give you a couple of quick tips you can utilize before you paint to improve your results a little bit and make sure that the process isn't frustrating, driving you crazy, and your results are coming out crisp and clear. This channel is all about exploring the wonderful world of spray paint art together, so make sure you join the Aerosol community. Uh, recently, we all learned how to take a few cans of spray paint some simple household items and turn it into this beautiful painting. If you want to learn how to follow along and create a painting very much like this one, make sure you check out the tutorial. It should be linked on the screen here as well in the description below. I'm going to review with you guys just a few quick, simple little things you can do to help improve your results with your spray paint art before you get started. First one's very simple. It's a clogged spray paint cap. Very, very common. You go about painting, you leave the caps, uh, over time, they're going to start to build up some junk and gunk here. It's going to affect the way the spray paint sprays. It's going to affect your art. So what you're going to need is a nice, sharp X-Acto knife. Anytime you're using something sharp and dangerous, be very, very careful. You're going to come into your spray paint cap here. You might have to hold the back edge, but be very careful to be cutting away from any of your fingers. And all you're going to do is just use the tip of the knife can be a bit of a balancing act. You're gonna use the tip of the knife just to strip away the paint only in the center of the cap. You don't have to worry too much about the surrounding paint, although you can go in and clean it up a little bit. Um, if you can really see it now, the center area here, which is the key part, is free of any paint buildup. At this point, with a really well shaked up can, you should be getting a nice, beautiful, even spray of spray paint. In the event that you're not for some reason and you're having further issues, one step to do is to simply flip your can upside down. You're gonna to wanna to point the nozzle completely away from you and you're simply just gonna press down on the page. I'm gonna do it off to an angle so you can see what happens. Press down and it's gonna clear a bit of the solvent out of the can and hopefully get the stem of the spray paint can that does go down quite a ways a little bit more cleared out. Ironically, that's the same technique you can use with a well-shaken can of white spray paint to get a nice kind of shooting star effect in the sky. The amount of pressure you put is going to be what affects what the burst looks like. So play around with that. Make sure your paint underneath on your painting is dry because when you press this down, it will leave a little circle. Next little tip on our list here is going to be cleaning up the sharp edges of any of our metal or kind of rigid uh, stenciling tools, straight edges. Even our palette knives, these all need maintenance from time to time. One of my go-tos here is going to be having a uh, little bit of medium to heavier grit sandpaper to help shave off some of this paint. You'll see some paint build up here uh, and all the way on top. I've done a nice little round on this already. I'm just going to clean up the edges in a nice straight line to keep the edges of my palette knife nice and straight. Uh, this isn't the toughest metal and it will kind of bend. You can see a little ripple in here developing already. I'm going to do a round on a flat surface here, putting a bit of pressure where the paint is building up and you can see it slowly coming off. I also want to make sure I'm sanding the whole surface of the palette knife all together. Another tip you can use is to take your uh, hobby blade and kind of chip off some of this paint. Uh, you'll get varying results with this, so a combination of both this and sandpaper is helpful. Uh, also, I have some fine grit sandpaper, and that's really going to help get some of the residual paint material off my palette knife. Going into something like a straight edge tool like this, mine has a lot and many you know, years of paint buildup on it. I don't really care too much about this upper area, but I do care about the edge along here. So with that, I'm going to go in. Holding it away from me is the right way to do it. I'm going to basically very lightly chisel the edge of this. And try to build some life back in. Uh, to be honest with you, this is going to be a longer project than I'm going to show you in the video. The other method to do is kind of fold the sandpaper over so it's on both edges. And I'm just going to kind of work this back and forth. You can already see it, it's definitely improved. Um, I definitely have a bit more of a straight flat edge to play with now. This is gonna require some elbow grease. So I'm gonna put in some time and make sure this is you know, up to code before I use it in another painting. 
Next thing you can kind of use your sandpaper for is just going to be your planet stencils. I love working with a metal planet stencil. This is a Bath & Body Works candle lid. It has a little tiny edge, which is key to crisp planets, but it will get some paint buildup around the edges, making kind of the, the end outline non-perfect. So one thing you could do is go around the edges of your platinum stencils, clean up the sides, put a bit more care and attention than I'm doing now, clean up this outer rim and clean up this inner edge. This inner edge is the same type of thing. You're going to want to almost fold the spray paint over the lip. So you're getting both sides and work your way around it. The main lesson with any of the stuff we've talked about today is going to be to get organized. It's going to improve your creative mindset and it's going to open a few doors when you actually get to painting. Thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks so much for tuning in. The point of today's video is take your time, get set up, make sure your tools are ready to work for you. So when you sit down to paint, you can focus on just that. If you made it this far in the video, make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, turn on the notification bell and get ready for the next spray paint art tutorial.